Hi, my name is Dennis Brager. Here at Brager Tax Law Group, we do one thing and one thing only. We represent clients who have tax problems with either the Internal Revenue Service or one of the California state taxing authorities, such as the Employment Development Department, the Franchise Tax Board, or the State Board of Equalization. This video is part of a multi-part series on foreign bank accounts and foreign bank account reporting. Today, we're going to be talking about what to do if you fail to file your FBARs in the past. You have basically four possible options. One is you can stick your head in the sand, ignore it, and hope it goes away. Uh, frankly, we don't recommend that option here. Um, the other options are to do a voluntary disclosure. And there are two types of voluntary disclosure. We call them noisy voluntary disclosures and quiet voluntary disclosures. The noisy voluntary disclosure involves contacting the IRS's Criminal Investigation Division, letting them know that you have a foreign bank account, and getting a formal clearance from them, uh, freeing you from any worries about criminal prosecution for failing to file the FBAR. If you've been listening to our other videos, you'll know that the failure to file a foreign bank account report is a felony and you could be prosecuted if the IRS finds out about you. So the noisy voluntary disclosure carries a significant benefit with it. Once you receive your clearance from the Criminal Investigation Division, they will for forward your case to the IRS's Civil Division and the IRS will look at your returns, request information, and will probably impose substantial civil penalties for not filing the FBARs. Those penalties are negotiable, however, and we've had a good deal of experience in that regard. If you don't want to file a noisy voluntary disclosure, another option is a so-called quiet voluntary disclosure. And the idea here is, is that instead of going up to the front door of the IRS's Criminal Investigation Division and knocking on the door, um, you would file amended tax returns. And in some cases we do them for three years, in other cases we prepare them for six years. You would report all of the unreported income and you would pay the tax. In addition, in some cases, we recommend the filing of back FBARs with the IRS as well. And the hope is that when you do a quiet voluntary disclosure that if you're lucky, you may never hear from the IRS again. And the only thing that you will have to worry about is you'll need to write a check to the IRS. In the past, this is what we advised most of our clients. And it worked very well. Uh, our clients were very, very, very rarely ever contacted by the IRS once the amended returns had been filed. Now, things changed drastically in 2008 when the IRS started focusing on foreign bank account reporting and offshore accounts. And IRS officials have publicly said that they do not favor a so-called quiet voluntary disclosure. And in fact, they have threatened in some instances to prosecute people who file quiet voluntary disclosures. Now, well, whether they'll actually carry through on that threat is another matter. Uh, and it, again, is, is something to consider doing a quiet voluntary disclosure. The remaining option is instead of trying to clean up what's happened in the past, you could simply, uh, starting this year, file your foreign bank account report when it's due on June 30th. You could report the income on your current year's tax return. And once again, hope that the IRS will not notice that this is the first year that you filed an FBAR and that they won't open an audit. Uh, 
Uh, and that's one way of, of handling the problem. So now you're probably wondering, what's the best option for me? There are no cookie cutter solutions. One size does not fit all. You need to sit down with a qualified tax professional who can find out all about your personal situation and based upon that situation advise you what the best option is for you.